Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be With Mahesh. Today we'll try to see one of the most important stuff for a cloud architect, creating architecture. So I wanted to show you how you can quickly create a streaming and a batch processing uh, GCP architecture in less than two minutes using a tool called as draw.io. Let's get started. So if you just search for GCP icons, the first link which you get is basically which shows all the various uh, uh, icons which is available for GCP architecture purpose. So it's an official link and one of the possible tools which Google mentions is draw.io and if you do a quick research all those things what you will come to know is draw.io is an open source tool uh, and you get an option to get use it as a web based application also or also a desktop version of it. You can just go to this and based on your OS you can choose which installer suits you and you can install it. Basically it's an open source tool is what I understood from this page and I have already downloaded this on my Windows laptop and I have already provisioned it. So what we are going to see is we are going to see how we can do an architecture in less than two minutes. Uh, the, the fastness is just to show you that the tool comes very handy with that purpose. That's the only reason why I wanted to show how easy it is to create it. Let's see it. All right, uh, so I have already installed, as I mentioned, I have installed draw.io. Um, on my left hand side, I have draw.io desktop application running, um, installed already, sorry. And on my right hand side, I have a, a stopwatch. So I'm going to click on the start and let me see whether I can create a streaming and batch processing architecture in less than two minutes. Basically, when I mention streaming and batch processing architecture in GCP, uh, the products which comes to my mind is PubSub for streaming, Google Cloud Storage for uh, batch data, and both of them uh, sends the information to a ETL tool, which is going to be data flow, um, which where I'm going to write Apache Beam pipeline almost the same code which is going to handle both the stuffs and the data is going to be processed and uh, stored in BigQuery. Four components, all four are serverless and this is what we are going to show in this architecture and how quickly we can do the architecture uh, because this is one of the important uh, task for a cloud architect, right? Create architecture and let's see how quickly we can do it. So I'm going to click on start, click on create, blank, then I see some default stuffs. So I click on more pages. If I scroll down, I see some beautiful option for Google Cloud Platform. So I'm just going to click on this and I will have all the stuffs coming. So the first product which I need is PubSub. Drag it, put it. The second component which I need is Cloud Storage. So more, more storage. The next product which I need is data flow, data flow, then the last component which I need is BigQuery, drag it, then make sure you make sure you connect this, similarly this one you connect it here and the output of this one connect to BigQuery. So let me just slightly make it up. Good. Now I wanted to show everything is part of GCP. There's a one good feature which you get here. This kind of a banner or a background. So send it back. I'll get this part. Then I'll put a small title to just indicate it is a streaming architecture. So, so just mention it as streaming and batch. And batch. That's it folks. So in less than two minutes, we were able to create a very simplistic architecture and without making much, taking much efforts, right? We use the drag and drop feature there. So that's it. So you just now, if you want, you can save this as basically different formats, PNG, JPEG, SVG. I would prefer uh, highly SVG if you wanted to share it, but if you want to embed it in a PPT or in a Google Slides, uh, JPEG, uh, sorry, JPEG or PNG is going to be a good choice. So save it, you're all done, and you can uh, start working on your design document. So the architecture is an important part. Once you are done with this kind of tools, it's going to be easier. 
that's it so that's a video which i wanted to share today folks i uh, hope you like the video and the tool if you want it just give a try and uh, let me know your comments and thoughts in the uh, comment section thank you for watching